All right, so let's see what this Blue Driver app can do on this Toyota Yaris hybrid. All right, so the car is ready to go. I've got here the OBD2 port. All right, we've got the sensor connected and into the app. Let's see if we've got some codes, nothing to be found. And the most interesting feature about this Blue Driver app is that you get live data and there can be a lot of pits actually. Let's see, supported. We've got a bunch of good stuff, engine load value, some of the basic speeds like vehicle speed, mass airflow rate. We've got as well commanded AGR, which is pretty cool. Catalyst temperature sensor. There are not so many data pits as I thought because this is quite a relatively new car. It's a 2015, I think. So let's see. Hybrid battery pack remaining life. I think now it should charge. Okay, well it looks like it's not updating for some reason. I'm gonna try to choose less speeds. Let's see, support it. I'm gonna take down this. Okay, we've got only five speeds now. But this equivalence ratio is not responding for some reason. Even the throttle body is not responding. Actually it's responding but in a very slow fashion. This is kind of useless, I have to admit. I want to be as 100% honest as possible. This graph is kind of useless. Okay, the mass airflow rate, it does increase indeed. But as you can see, it jumps from three grams per second to five grams. And that's not so useful because you want to see all the range. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take only mass airflow rate. Let's see, let's go like this. Well, that is your graph right there. That's just not usable. I mean, at least it can tell you that the mass airflow rate works, but let's see, we can go into the settings. Okay. All right, well, let's see what more can do. Well, you've got save reports. This is from other cars freeze frame obviously this can be actually quite useful because you don't need the graph you just watch the data when a trouble code occurred so that's nice we've got smoke check let's press scan I don't think for example the AGR valve doesn't work on this car because I already tested it it can be possible that this scan tool cannot do a bi-directional command to the AGR valve to open and close so that's why it cannot see if it works or not let's see mode 6 well at least it can tell you that there are no misfires on these four cylinders again it's about the AGR and the oxygen sensor number one which is pretty strange because there are no trouble codes but it still reports that the oxygen sensor might not work okay Mile status, let's see, vehicle information, uh, it doesn't read anything. As I said, this is quite a nice cam tool to have, but then if you want to go and do some more professional work, then you need something else because this is not enough. Let's see more update. Let's see, maybe after the update, we've got more interesting stuff going on on this sensor. All right, so the update is done. Let's see, we got more live data available, probably not. Okay, let's see the short-term fuel trim and long-term fuel trim. And the fuel trims respond, we've got short-term, a little bit positive. That's pretty strange because on my other tool, you could see that the short-term fuel trim was negative most of the time and the long-term was positive. So let's see what more you can do. For example, you want to see the intake manifold pressure against the throttle body. Now I'm going to increase the RPMs and the intake manifold pressure should also increase. The throttle position should increase and the mass airflow sensor should increase also. And yes, indeed, they all increase. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. 
I kind of had a lot more expectations from this tool on this car because a hybrid vehicle has a lot of data pits which can be read but unfortunately it does not do anything more than just some hybrid battery life and that's pretty much it about the hybrid system there is nothing more than that and that's a shame because I thought you can get a lot more data out of this but anyway it's still a great scan tool for the money you pay especially if you are a beginner so thanks for watching if you have questions let me know and I will see you in the next video